doesn't look like it. Okay. All right. Well, Kay, looks like you're up for the first topic. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> yeah, and I came complete with, with pictures today. So, um, yeah, so I'll just mention some updates for the security SIG. We, we've been on a little break from our bi-weekly meetings. Our, we, our regular schedule is to meet just ahead of this meeting every other week. Um, but because of the holidays, we've, we've taken a break. So our next meeting is January 14th. Um, we did have a, a meeting at, at, after the last CD summit. Um, so it was held during the during KubeCon, um, and we got a group of people. I think we had uh, close to 20 of us. Um, we have everybody's names who attended in the in the notes from the from the meeting, um, uh, at, where we talked about um, supply chain security. Uh, so there, and we we've created a new uh, den. Uh, Lopez created for us a new uh, GitHub channel and um, oh, all the works and email alias, et cetera, um, for supply chain security. Um, and the, we've got a README for that group, and then we've got a framework document that describes um, kind of the, the overall what we're working, for, working towards. And that's what the picture is below. Um, so just just quickly, so it, we're our, our, the thing that we're working towards is to understand um, a supply chain where there are producers of software and consumers of software, and producers use signing services, artifact stores, and metadata stores, and they output artifacts and metadata. The metadata we've been calling a software bill of materials or SBOM. And then consumers have policy specifying what they'll accept. And then clients that will obtain artifacts and metadata, compare it against policy, and then gate, um, if needed, the inclusion of software into the consumer's ecosystem. Um, and so we're identifying, and there are a bunch of players who have uh, parts in, in this overall space. And so we're identifying who those players are and trying to get people together um, for discussions. And what we ultimately want to do is have some standards around different parts of the ecosystem. So one place that we're working toward a standard is for a software bill of materials. Um, we think we also want standards around APIs for metadata stores and then also um, policy, uh, policy frameworks. And, and maybe some more things. We're, we're, we're just getting started with this. So um, then the second piece that I'll mention, so moving down my list. So for a software bill of materials, um, we are actively involved in a standards effort for that. There's a readme that describes that effort at the link below. And then we are working towards a submission for that standard on February 24th, and that will be submitted to the Object Management Group, OMG. Um, so there are a bunch of people involved in that. Um, SPDX from the Linux Foundation um, is involved. Um, folks from uh, Google are involved with the Graphius project, um, and quite a few others. I think there are about 30 uh, different people involved. So, and that's Do moving you know along how... pretty well. Oh, sorry, Kay, didn't mean to. But, nope, that's all I was. I was saying, go ahead. I was just going to say, do you know how long that review process is going to take? Yeah, the review process will be at least nine months. Ugh. So, okay. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, standards standards take a while. So there's um, three months while it's in um, um, RF, uh, what is it, RF, RFC, review. Request mm -hmm. for comment phase, yep. and um, then three months uh, when it's in. Oh, there's another phase after that. I forget what it is. And then, oh, it, it's a. I forget the name of it right now. I'll I'll try to remember that. But to 
bring that information for our next meeting. Um, and then the last three months is just a finalization phase. So essentially there's a long time for comments and then for review by the object management uh, group technical board. And then we'll go from there and then we'll submit for an international standard through ISO. And I think that will take another year, but. Um, Good grief. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you the impatient question. Which sure. Is, <laughs> yeah. At what point does it make sense potentially to start executing some form of instrumentation against this idea from a technical standpoint? I think on, on February 24th, so long, as soon as I would say, as soon as we submit it for, uh, for comments. Um, so this is, I'll just tell you what we're, what we're doing internally at Microsoft. We have a, a few teams lined up already who are, um, who will be running pilots, um, starting they're they're ready to run pilots already, but a few things are still in flux. So we've been holding them back a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I think starting in January, um, this spec, I think, I hope starting in, in January, the, the schema will be settled enough that those teams can at least start reviewing it and providing, providing feedback to it. Um, and, you know, as soon as they're comfortable, they'll, they'll start to, um, to do some pilots against it. Okay. And the schema itself is part of the proposal, so it's public? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so right. the, the, I, I would love to start making, I would love to see the project start making forward progress against that. Sooner um, around later, it'd be good to have to un understand what the potential technical impact would be. Oh. Right. So the, um, so Brian Russell uh, from mm -hmm. Google yep. has, has, so he's the Google, he's the lead from Google that's been involved in this. Um, and I know that they're starting to think about it for Graphius, uh, what it means to import and export an SBOM and, um, uh, uh, and you know, make it something that's kind of a first class citizen in, in Graphius. Um, I'm not, I've heard that for Tecton, there's some interest in uh, as well, but I don't know the, the, the details around that, so. Uh, yeah, and Dan's hopefully asleep, so. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, all right, but that's that's something we can certainly bring up with him and Christy Wilson. And then okay. have we heard anything from uh, the Netflix folks? Um, you know what, I Netflix is not involved, so um, so okay. you're thinking for um, Spinnaker. Spinnaker, yeah. Um, so, um, do you want me to reach out? Should I reach out to? Um, I can. Yeah, I can Mandy's on the line right now, guys. Yeah, so. why, why don't you and I chat offline? I'd be happy to learn more. Okay, sure. Oh, yeah, I mean, Spinnaker would more likely be kind of receiving a whole bunch of them and then maybe aggregating them, um, but it'd be interesting to know what that looked like. Uh, also, good morning, Andy. Good morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Cool. Well, that's this is awesome news. Um, I'm I'm a little <laughs> I'm a little befuddled at the length of time, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But um, it's good that we can get moving on it sooner rather than later. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Any anything else on S bombs? All right. Uh, interoperability sig. Who do we have to talk on that? Yeah, I, I put that topic and the next topic as well. So it's just the interoperability is just a, you know, heads up if someone missed the uh, proposal on the mail list. We proposed it on 19th of November and then Lorenz started the vote last week. I think we have four out of six talk members uh, voted on the proposal and we are waiting the remaining two uh, talk members to vote and hopefully we can uh, start working on this important area right after new year's and there is a great interest i think currently there are nine people signed up as members and there are more monitoring the situation and depending on the <clears throat> uh, success we have early success they will probably start joining to this effort as well from linux foundation with engineering team or openstack foundation so they are not listed 
in the proposal, but they will probably show up over time. Awesome, that's good news. Hey Dan, who, uh, I'm looking at the mail thread, who are we missing? Is KK voted on this yet? I think KK and James, they didn't vote. Okay. I know Andy, no, they've been running around, yeah. all right. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can get those guys wrangled. Um, I, I know I'm certainly very pro this idea, so I'm looking forward to getting this sorted. Thanks. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. CD Summit, KubeCon Europe. Yeah, it's actually Watson, who is on the call as well. He asked me the plans about this, and I said, let's ask during talk meeting. So, yeah, any plans to have a CD Summit like the zero event like we had in San Diego? And if so, what are the plans for CFP and everything else about the summit? That sounds like a great question for uh, Dan and Jackie. Perhaps. Hey guys, sorry. Um, I am uh, gonna track that down with the KubeCon uh, events team. I'm not sure what the availability and budget is on the CDF side, but we'll come back with a solid answer. Um, in terms of the CFP or creating a track, uh, that also is a viable option. And so we'll track that down, what our options are and bring it back. Um, we probably will we'll either broadcast that over um, groups.io or uh, come back to this when we first come back um, after the new year. But, When's uh, the next uh, general board meeting? Because that, that would be where we'd have the budget conversation, right? It's, it's this Friday. Oh, it's this Friday? Okay. Maybe I'll try and sit in on that. But yeah, good question. We should get on that. <laughs> and especially it's happening in Europe, you know, raising the awareness for CDF in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, thanks. cool. Uh, thanks thanks for, uh, for the nudge. And uh, we'll see if we can get that going. All right, uh, let's see, moving on, screwdriver. So I don't think we have Jithin on the call, but I do believe we got the final uh, approval to move that project uh, forward. Looking I think all it needs is um, someone from the TOC to merge that. Um, I'm happy, yeah. the TOC says, Dan uh, Lopez, go ahead and merge it for us. I'm happy to do that, but uh, just let me know either way. Yeah, I think I, I think Andy, I think you were the last one. And I, I believe I just saw your plus one on that. Did I totally hallucinate that? Yep. Nope. I hallucinated I it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, I'll just make a note here that Dan, go ahead and uh, move this uh, merge um, based on um, TOC. Yep. And then the only other follow-up, and I'll take care of that, is reaching out to Jithin because there was a lot of discussion around the new community they were building up. But I haven't seen any of the artifacts from that yet, so I want to make sure that that's still progressing. Sure. Um, uh, but we can do that asynchronously. Okay. That was, awesome. That, that, Thank that you. Me. Um, all right. Next on the ad uh, agenda, telemetry updates. Uh, Spinnaker is complete. Thanks for Andy and team for getting that done. Um, and up next is Tecton, which is in process. Uh, I believe Dan and team are looking at that. Um, I kicked that off uh, with the LF legal team uh, review last week or so, week and a half or so. Uh, Jenkins is also in the hands um, of uh, Kosuke and um, the rest of the gang right. on, on the Jenkins team. So uh, each one are going at their own pace. We'd like to get that done and published out. Um, Spinnaker, uh, I will try to uh, send to the TOC mailing list the PDF version that's finalized uh, and also published uh, publicly. Um, so it can be used as a baseline for any other uh, projects out there. Uh, great. Um, I thought that Christie's team was almost done for Tecton, but I can't commit to that so um i will um i you know could have hallucinated that too um but i can uh, poke dan and christy just to, to make sure we get an update on that Emotional. 
Okay. Cool. We're getting a pen. Cool. All right. Do we have anything else on the agenda for today? Code signing. Oh, uh, Dan, that was. Yeah, that is uh, almost done because of our um, way we're structured at the Lynx Foundation. Um, the legal entity that holds the liability for this um, is a little uh, one off for DigiCert. And so they're just going through their compliance side. We're just waiting now. So um, we were really set up. Uh, and then it got put on pause once we started trying to sign certificates um, and some code uh, signing uh, activities. And I uh, triaged that with their management team. So um, we are, we should be hearing before the holidays. Um, okay. I'll double check in. Awesome. So almost there. Yeah. Again. <laughs> it was there. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got a uh, a red flag from their compliance team, and then now they understand how we're set up. So uh, we sent them documentation. We should be in good shape pretty soon. Cool. Awesome. Thank you for that update. Is that I believe that is the end of the agenda. Anybody else have a topic that we missed? Fabulous. Finish that in twenty one minutes. I have enough time to get to my next meeting. I'm so excited. Um, thank you, everyone. I think the next meeting is the week of New Year's. Uh, I will not be available. Um, do we want to just punt on that one? Yeah, I think I, um, unless you got a, a old calendar invite, I can't, I moved it to the next week, but. Um, ah, oh, okay, you offset it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah I'll have to double check. Stay, stay tuned. If not, Tara, um, I will double check and kind of modify the invite and that would kind of trigger everyone to get an update. So. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so it'll be the following week. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dan. All right, everyone. Have a, uh, for those of us who celebrate, have a happy holidays and uh, we'll see you on the new year. Thank, Thank you. you all. Sounds great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye.